All right. What's up, guys? Happy Sunday. Stream day once again. Oh, wow. I did not refresh the chat. There's a lot of people in chat. Hey, how's it going? We got a uh, mysterious man. Nice. Oh, nine mayhem. Uh, we got galactic gamer. Mirza, if that's how you pronounce it. Extractor. What's up? AK the ghost. Falk. Try. Try. I'm, I'm going to try this. It's like trike tan music. Trike tan. Maybe. Van Gorian. What's up? How you guys doing? How y'all doing today? Beater MF, FM8, what's up? All right. I think, I think I'm excited for today. I say this every time. I say this every time that I'm excited, but I actually had a lot of fun doing this before. What I'm going to be doing today on stream is I'm going to be making music, as always, but I'm going to be making music with the samples that you guys send. Uh, I have the Discord, the Ghost Hack Discord up right now. If you're not in the Discord, there's a link in the top of the description. Uh, if, if you want to join right now to submit some samples for today's stream, then you just have to accept the, uh, accept the, uh, the rules. That's it. You have to accept the rules and then you can submit things in this stream sample. It looks like tons of people have already submitted plenty of sounds already. So I think this is going to go pretty good. We have a lot of people that like to submit large quantities of sounds, which I appreciate that. But I don't think I'm going to use, well, I'm definitely not going to use every sound. I like to flip around between submissions between different people, though. I think that would be uh, what works out best for me. All right. How you doing? Uh, I've, I've been better. I've been better. I feel a little, I'm feeling a little sick. My birthday was a couple of days ago and uh, uh, poor decisions give me a headache. But uh, it happens. It happens. But I'm still in the mood to make music, as always. Why do I look so yellow? Here, hold up real quick. I'm going to try to fix this. I look very yellow. My white balance is all the way up. There we go. That's a little more my skin tone. My actual skin tone is like this. It's, it's pasty white. You can't even... It's unbearable. I have to turn the white balance up. There we go. Nice. Okay, so let me start. Uh, let me start downloading some samples. Let me get some. Let me get some samples moving up in here. Check levels. Levels good. Headache for literally the whole day today, dude. I'm with you, man. I am with you. Happy very late birthday. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. I don't. I don't have any idea what I want to do for this, which I guess I probably should have thought about what I want to do, but how am I supposed to think about what I want to do? I'm not using samples that are mine. These are, these are new. These are brand spanking new. I get to experiment with you guys' stuff. Is that coming through? It does come through. It's a weird snare. And that one just has reverb and delay. Okay, that's awesome. I like that. I'm downloading that. Nice. No sound. Sorry, I had y'all muted. This is what I've been listening to. There we go. Sorry. Forgot to unmute. Benji, what's up? How you doing? That's the one that I just downloaded. I just downloaded that one because I definitely want to use that one. You seriously, you know what? Whatever, I'll take that one. Why not? It's a longer loop. That pad's not bad. I might come back to that. I don't know about that one. Freestyle rap vocals. My father told me I have really big hips. I eat a lot of chips. Cannot control it. You think I'm fat, but you don't know. The fart is coming up. You be prepared. It's gonna blow your mind. I think it will. I think it will. I'll download that one. 
Wow. That was crazy. One, two, three, let's go. That's literally just a saw one shot in the key of C. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> a drum loop from the content. Oh, it's from, that's from the collab. Interesting. Interesting. I get to dip into those samples. Some violin. My cat is meowing outside my door. I actually like that. I'll take that. That's nice and chasey. These are a little quiet. Whoa. That's kind of crazy. I'll take that one. Really good. A little bit, a little bit, a little too growly. That one's awesome. I'll take that one. <laughs> Go feed the cat. My cat's got food. He just wants to be involved in everything I do every second of every day. <sighs> it's so heavy. I wish I could process them myself. That's the thing. That's the thing. I kind of want to process them myself. A little drum fill. I'll take that. Russian Japan? Wait, so is this Russian spoken by a Japanese bot or is this Japanese spoken by a Russian bot? You know what? Sure. Sure. Why not? I'm getting a lot of basses. Maybe I'll do something bass heavy today. That could be nice. This kick is very clicky. Ooh. Ooh, thanks Pyro for hooking me up with some kicks. I like that kick. I'll take that kick. That's a nice thick kick. These are subs. I'll probably do sub myself. Metal DNB. Oh, that'd be rough. Okay, I got a lot of wow, there's a lot of there's a lot of submissions here. It's not a bad snare. It's a decent stuff. I think I think I'll come back. I'll come back for drums and stuff. I'll come back for drums and stuff. Let me uh let me find everything that I just downloaded. Here we are. There we are. A bunch of different sounds. <clears throat> Japan reading a Russian text. Oh, okay. That is what it sounded like. That is what it sounded like. Sub crunch. Please, it's so good. Is it going to be a distorted sub? <laughs> that is pretty cool. Although, I don't know if I'd, I'd find a great use for that. Jesus. Cat, why are you so loud? Why? Loud all the time. Oh, we need to pick a BPM. I have to think about this. What do you guys vote for BPM? Because that's going to heavily influence the style that I that I do today. Tempo. Everything revolves around the beat, at least for me. 145. That'd be kind of halftime dubstep stuff. 160. I could do something trap. 95 BPM. That'd be like hip hop. 150, 150. 176, more drum and bass. Or uh, or drum step, of course. 105, 110, that's mid-tempo. Tech core, I have no idea. 200 BPM. I mean, it's basically, I'd just be making a song in 100 BPM at this point. One fifty, but that will one fifty will limit me in my styles because I can't do double time in one fifty. That's the thing. I can't do double time in one fifty. I will have to do half time, and if it's in one fifty, it will turn into dubstep. So I, at, that, at that point, I will be doing dubstep. But I see plenty of votes for BPMs around that area, so I'll go ahead and do that. 
Your cat just needs some petting all the time. He can't go two minutes without getting pet. I love him. I love him, but he's an attention hog. I'm down with 150. Cinematic mid-tempo. It actually does sound kind of cool, although not really 150. Oh, this one's at 190. Let me see. I forget the quick way to do this. I know I can auto-detect. Can I just type in 190? Yeah. Yeah, and I'll just have to change the stretching. I like that that's all in one note. Even though there's not a lot of life to it yet, I like how it's one note. I can work with it a little easier that way. That one's not bad. Hmm, finding the right stretch method is so hard. I like that one. That sounds pretty good. I like it. I like it. Let's make this a loop. Two sounds that have gone together so little. Somehow kind of work. Like I'm not upset at that. That's not how the song is going to go. I'm just getting things down. I have no idea what I'm going to do with that. It doesn't even sound like a tubular tubular bell. It sounds just like a kitchen, just like a, a kitchen, a kitchen pan. Woo! Give me some room to breathe. What key is this in? Oh, this is already in 150. That's actually awesome. I think this might be, I think this might be kind of epic. I think this might end up turning kind of epic. Okay, that's an F. This is an A minor. I'd much rather make a song in F than A minor, unfortunately. Which means that, oh, these strings are going to have to get pitched. Up eight? Is that even, like, will that even sound halfway decent? Nah. Nah, that doesn't sound good. Instead of, instead of going up eight, I could go... Oh, I could just go down four. Wait a minute. That's much easier. Okay, I can live with that. I can live with that. That's better. This sounds like uh this sounds like an intro. <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. We got bases. And we got that. I have no idea what I'm going to do for that. Okay, there's this freestyle though as well that I kind of forgot about. Um it's at, this is at 140, so I only need to pitch it up. I only need to speed it up by 10 BPM. So let's just put that 140. My father told me I have really... My father told me... I don't know about these. My father told me I have really big hips. I eat a lot of chips. Cannot control it. You think I'm fat, but you don't know. The fat is coming up. You'll be prepared. I don't think it stretched it the right way. I'll be totally honest. I do not think that it did. So this is in 140. I'll just do it manually. 
140, project tempo, and back to 150. My father told me I have really big hips. I, I don't even know if this is on rhythm. My father told me I have really big hips. I ate a lot of chips. Cannot control it. You think I'm fat, but you don't know. The fat is coming up. You'll be prepared. It's gonna blow your mind. It's not even on rhythm. Think you. I think you overthink what you say. So you say what you say. I think my father told me I have really big hips. I ate a lot of chips. I don't. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. If it was on, if it was a little more on rhythm, I could work with it. Sorry, but don't know if it's happening. Oh, wait, I thought we weren't allowed to share samples on Discord. Uh, you can for the live streams when I when I use like it when I when I what? Well, you you can for the live streams when I'm using it. Alan Watts, yeah. Although I've used his vocals before. <laughs> As a pre-drop vocal, yeah, maybe I'll dip back into it for a pre-drop vocal, but right now I wanna I wanna get something going with this intro. I'll just make the song from start to finish. Why not why not do that? Like maybe not an entire song, but I'll start with the intro. Normally I start with the drop. But I'll start with the intro this time, because already I have something going. Already. I could uh, make that go up one semitone to sound a little bit meaner. So I could do that. I can put that in the background <clears throat> use my impact not yours I will I will grab from my own libraries just to just to have some just to have some halfway decent sounds <laughs> that was horrible I hated that I just did that Oh, maybe I could pitch these down. Let me route these into tracks. Let me route these into some tracks first, and then when I move on, I'll I'll grab for I'll grab some more samples from Discord. I'll grab some more. Okay, complete lack of organization in progress. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. We need a low pass filter, that's what I'm hearing. <laughs> I should save it. Let me go ahead and save it. It's nothing yet, but I will still save it. <clears throat> this will be a uh, Discord sample. Samples track. Two. This is the second time that I'm doing this. 
Oh, what if I half time it? Wait a second. The guitar is very loud. Is it too loud on stream? It is. It's pretty loud, but my voice is still louder. That sounds pretty thick. That could be pretty good for the intro. And I'll probably incorporate that in the drop as well. Oh, I didn't mean to make it that long. Will there be more Discord sample streams? Yeah, totally. Totally. We like these. And then that would go up and in, into the build up. I think that would be pretty good, actually. Not that bad. That one's already in key, which is pretty cool. This one is in D, so I'll have to go up three. Let's do that. When Facebook stream, I think we're done with Facebook streams. We did Facebook streams for a while. We did them for a while, but YouTube, our, our streams are much more uh, successful and organized here on YouTube. We like it much better here. Uh, we like it much better. This is a cyberpunk song intro. It kind of is, not going to lie, with these guitars. And I'll look for some other sound effects. Let's see if I can find some other, some more sound effects for me to use here. Let me get this right on. Perfect. <clears throat> oh, feedback. Oh, not Facebook. I'm just stupid. Now nah, we'll have we'll we'll have more feedback streams. I don't know exactly when, but uh, soon, soon, very soon, very soon. Me after Taco Bell. <laughs> Well, that's pretty crazy. That's not bad, actually. You know what? I'll download that one. I like that one. There's atmospheres. Really cool. Doesn't fit the vibe. I actually could use that. I want to use that. That's really, uh, that's very useful. Uh, that's actually a good kick. I can use that for the drop. Let me download that. A riser? Yeah, I'll grab a riser. Woo! That is an 808. There's a good sound effect. Ah, the bed squeak. Classic. Ooh, it's very clicky. These sounds are probably really loud for you guys. They're really loud for me. Dang, they are very loud for you guys. Can I turn down just Discord? Yeah, I can do that. What am I talking about? Discord down. Thank you. There we go. Easier. Oh, you made that in Serum? That's cool. I feel like I recognize that kick. It's a good kick. Okay, these are these are drums. Some cool samples. Oh, I remember these. I remember these. Let me go down towards the bottom. Ah, someone tagged me, so I would notice. Unfortunately, I will still have to uh, pitch them around and stretch them around because they're all in 190 BPM and that's not the BPM that I'm working with. But I appreciate you sending more samples. If I need some more guitar samples, I'll dip into those. 
I could potentially use that in the buildup. Maybe I'll do that in the buildup. It sounds like the it sounds like the intro to some really dirty heavy song. These are our drums. All synthesized in serum, it looks like. Which fair play, they sound pretty good. That's a good snare though. I'm taking that snare. That's a solid snare. <laughs> Just a sub. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like a kind of alert, but it was that. This is uh, 150 BPM. I'm in F. So if, if any of you are making sounds live right now, that's the uh, that's what's going on. F minor 150. Okay, these are kicks and stuff. Drum loop. Ooh, piano loop. Oh, it's so pretty, ah, but it doesn't fit the vibe. It doesn't fit the vibe. Uh, I think these are all presets. I want to just stick to samples. Is this the glub glub gabula? I feel like weirdly, I feel like I'm gonna get copyrighted for that. I don't think I should, but I feel like I will. So now I'm nervous. Okay, that's pretty cool. I'll take that. Okay, I have some more samples. I have some more samples to work with. Let's see. Let's refresh. Plenty more stuff. Nice. Whoa. Kind of just worked on its own. I might get a metal drum kit in here just for fun. Just for fun, I might get a metal drum kit in here for like breaks or fills or something like that. I could totally do that. That'd be awesome. That'd be awesome. Finally able to catch you live. Awesome. Welcome to the live stream. This is how it goes. I must go now. Good luck with your stream. Thanks. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you later. All right. Uh, this is Impact. It's actually a good, uh, a really good riser. Oh, because of the square swear words. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I can, uh, I can do that. Sorry. Sorry about that. Woo, that snare is fat. I love how this kick is so timid and then the snare is just balls to the wall. Now that I have those snares, let me go ahead. Now that I have those drums, let me go ahead and like maybe lay out or drop. That snare, dude. Let's bring this kick up to, to speed. There we go. It's a nice kick sound. Very nice, very nice. Okay, normally I'd throw this into one and two, but I already got things going all over the place, so I kind of need to stay organized here. This is all audio so far. All of its audio. Man, there are so many things that just do not have a place. Yikes. This is going to be really annoying. There we go, and I'll put the snare into seven. Wait, what? Oh, it's just grabbing the end of that, okay. There's so much low end on the snare. Actually, let me use frequency shifter. So I can shift up that fundamental. I 
It sounds pretty good. I like that. <clears throat> I like that. <laughs> and fruity granulizer. Oh, that'd be so much fun. I should use fruity granulizer or just granul some kind of granular synthesis. How long have you been using FL? Since I was 15 and I turned 22 the other day. So, maths. Woo! Look at that. This kick could maybe use a little extra, a little extra pump. There we go. Thick rack the kick. You're crazy. Will, what's your view about the afterlife? I'll let you know when I get there. I feel like this part, a lot of instruments should be low pass, so it's like really, uh, really dark. And then it opens up to this part where there's probably no drums, but it's all bright and open, you know what I'm saying? And then it'll go down into the drop. I think that'll be a decent way to arrange this. I should sidechain though. You're right. Who said sidechain? Yeah, DM12E. I got you. I shall sidechain. All right, side chain channel. I feel like there are so much like easier ways to side chain than this, just like creating an automation clip for a volume. But I just, I honestly just can't be bothered to change my method. I'm just way too lazy. This will be the intro sidechain. I'll have two different sidechain. Uh, I'll have two different sidechain shapes: one for the intro and one for the drop. The one for the intro will be obviously less aggressive and a little more subtle, but it'll still be there. It'll still be there. Don't have sends on your template? Nah, I don't even have a template. This is really just blank. Like I don't really, don't really start off with a template. Used the thick rack on kicks once and it turned out kind of decent. Hmm, interesting. I, it would probably have to be a really small kick for the thick rack to be able to make it sound better. You know, because if, if you put a fully heavy kick in there, I don't expect it would actually sound that good. Okay, that's the kick. Very loud. That can get side chained. This can get side chained. The percussion loop's fine. I know technically I should probably sidechain it, but I don't really give a heck. Why do you use Fruity Limiter's volume knob to sidechain? Uh, not the compressor that's built in. Primarily because... I'll be quick about this here. Hold up. Primarily because, A, I can create the exact shape that I want to, as opposed to the compressor that will shape it to the kick. I kind of want to make my own shape. And also, I can control the uh, attack, release, and sustain of this movement so i have like custom control over the smoothing usually when i route the sub through the side chain i'll have to turn up the attack a little bit because it'll be clicky it'll be a little bit clicky sorry i had a lot of saliva in my mouth that probably sounded nasty See, that's a nice subtle side chain for the intro. I like that. And then I can just make this unique and throw this on the uh, drop area, just bigger and stronger.
If this were slower, I would totally be doing mid tempo right now. I would totally, totally do mid tempo. Try side chaining with a high pass filter instead of volume. Uh, but I like the I like the volume. I've tried it with the filter and it's cool, but I I prefer the I prefer the volume. <clears throat> You born in 2000? I am. It makes it very uh, easy for me to remember birth dates. Okay, I won't start laying that out until I have until I have some bases going. Oh yeah. I wanted to use this in the intro, this bass in the intro. But it's not quite in the right key. There we go. Ooh, that's kind of cool, actually. Let me see if it sounds good if I stretch it. Sounds pretty sick. Well, you're young. Yeah, I'm, a I'm not a 90s kid. I'm just, I'm just after the 90s kids. My sisters were 90s kids. All but one. Oh, and now big brain maneuver. We make this unique and reverse it. Why, you ask? I don't know. And then it just goes backwards. Here we go. <clears throat> Eight years older than you? You are small. That's okay. There, now it's routed the side chain. Let me process this a little bit. I want to bring that juice back. Give me some juice. Maybe I can get some juice back from uh, ring modulation. <clears throat> Did it just call you small? Yes, you are small. You are small. <laughs> I had this one preset I called Animal. Because it kind of makes it sound like a... Like a growl or something. Oh, I have to route this one into eight as well. Makes it sound like helicopter blades, though. Now I just gotta make it, I gotta make it move and squirm and worm around. Uh, serum effects. Only smaller on the horizontal axis. <laughs> I just got roasted. Let me see. Maybe a phaser? Or I could just use like an actual phaser. It's kind of weird though. Imagine using a real phaser. It's kind of cringe. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. There we go. This is a really weird sound. I actually like it a lot. Ooh. A little bit of stereo, maybe some uh, distortion. Wow, maybe not so much distortion. Oh, that goes crazy in the stereo field. That goes crazy.
and then uh, <coughs> ah, excuse me, and then uh, <coughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, and then Vocodex. Ah, Vocodex. Regret, regret sending those vocals. Nah, you're fine, dude. Oh yeah. Thank you, Chad. Thank you. You're you're all real ones. This one is particularly wet and sloppy. Hmm. What if I was allergic to cats? I used to be allergic to cats, but then I took allergy shots for like four years and it sucked. And I'm no longer technically allergic to anything. It's really nice, but it sucked. Shout out my mom and dad for making me do that. Am I messing this up beyond salvation? I don't fully know at this point. It's kind of cool. I'll keep it, whatever. Maybe I'll crush it up a little bit. That couldn't hurt. A little crushing never hurt anyone. OTT with R RTX on? Has OTT changed? Now I could use this one. That'd be, man, I guess. Yeah, if I affect it, that could be cool. I have to throw hella effects on it though. Oh, this riser isn't going anywhere. Let me throw this into 10, just cause. How do I affect this? What do I put on it? Maybe frequency shifter? Ooh. It's kind of cool. That retains a little bit of that bass. Cut the riser. I'll have to do that. It already has some reverb. Okay, that's actually in key of the song. Maybe I could cut the tail right as the drop happens, because that would actually make sense. Like that. And then, uh, temper? Distortion? Whoa. A little too much. Maybe some distortion, just not that. Destructor. More reverb. Maybe disperser. I'm just gonna, I'm just throwing effects on this. 
seeing what I come up with. Now it sounds like a cave. It sounds like a cave. Half time? I don't think so. Oh wait, this is initial reverse. Bit crush is a great idea, actually. Let's pull up crush. This is such a weird sound. Tape stop it? Would that, how would that work though? I don't actually know. Let me pull it up. Uh, glitch two. Oh, I could do something like that. I can just hit random. Yeah, let me just try the tape stop. I want this on stop. I can put it on free. There we go. That's pretty much uh that's pretty much this with tape stop. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Maybe it'd be cooler if I did this. Can I scoot this over just ever so slightly? Like just, just, just inch it, inch it over just a little bit. Can I not do that? That's actually kind of annoying. There we go. I like that. It's not bad. There we go. I can have that as a little pre-drop thing until I get uh, something else. Okay, but I need more sounds here. Let me grab uh, some crash cymbals real quick, just because I know I want some. I know that's what I, I'm looking for. Put a delay on this guy. I want to take off the reverb. Make it a little more dry. And I can take that one and put this one here, turn it down, but route it into the same channel. Uh, 11. I want to start getting some bass action going because this intro is already sounding pretty sick but i need i need i need i need some bass action let me see real quick if we have any risers or anything like that in here or i could make an turn an ambience into a riser
That's actually really good. I like that. It's like atonal. Also pretty sick. I could turn one of those. Could use those. What is today's genre? Uh, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be more dubstepy, I think. Kind of experimental though, because I'm working with samples that are that are given to me through Discord. Extractor said just uploaded a uh, scary riser. Let me see. That's not bad. That's not bad. Very very crispy. Oh, that's cool. It's like color based stuff. Okay, here's the riser. I'll take that. I might put it in the background a little bit because it sounds like what's that? What's that like THX or something like that? That's like before the movie starts. You know what I'm saying? Oh, here's some more guitars. I like that. But it's got like swing that my track doesn't in it. Darth Vader. You know what? I'll add Darth Vader vocals. Why not? Let's go. Whoa. Sure. Why not? Why not? I love vocals. Send more vocals. That sounds really good. Yeah! Yeah, Slayer! <laughs> I don't know about that one. Sex with box. Give me good chunks. Why? I don't understand how your brain works. Who are you, magic man? Mysterious man? Why have you given me such sounds? Here we are. New stuff. Let me just pitch it into place. That'll be really cool. Or it kind of already is. Nah, it's not. This could be really cool. But this seems like it's so hard to... Okay, there it is. But I'll change it to E2 speech because that's a little better for vocals. Or maybe I'll change it to E2 Transient. Because it's a little smoother.
and then afterward I can put this one. I just have to copy these settings. So let me copy this value, throw it in there, and then it should actually already be on pitch. It's just so quiet. Let me route it into its own track. 12. I, I really love these vocals that sound almost uh, like Middle Eastern. I'm actually going to switch these because I feel like this one would work better here. Okay, that's actually... It's actually kind of a cool thing to do right before the drop. <laughs> movies where there's a desert and then there's like a flute playing yeah what is my green my green screen messing up on me my lights probably aren't bright enough that's whatever let me just make this unique and then pitch it down oh no there we go And then we take a low pass filter to it. Let's add some distortion to this kick needs a little more crunch I could use a little riser right here, something small, something small. Oh, didn't I have an ambience I wanted to turn into a riser? I did. What on earth is this? Oh yeah. There's a ton of different variations. Well, there's also this little riser thing. vibrato on the last uh, vocals and startup sound that would be so there kind of already is eh, that kind of does that Where are the low pass filters for this guitar? There we go. I 
I should probably at least attempt to stay organized. Okay, these vocals too can do the same thing. Like that Darth Vader sounds. That's insane. Oh, because I already have other things connected. I mean, it's still insane. How is it so, how are there so many different versions? And now I just have to stretch it. to go this way. It's going to be very rapid breathing, uh, Darth Vader, but I don't exactly have a problem with that. Yeah. And then we can have that build up. It's a complete jumble of like tons of different things, but I mean, that's sort of what this is supposed to be. It's meant to be like a, a collaboration of just a bunch of different ideas. Do you sidechain the vocals? Um, I think I actually did sidechain these vocals because they're like background vocals. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm cool with that. Dope track so far. Got to go back to adulting. Uh, good luck out there, man. Can I make this really stereo? Where's that drum fill? Three, one, two, three. Oh, no, it's in six, eight. Oh, I can't use it because it's in six, eight. Oh, it doesn't work. Dang it. Oh, yeah, I wanted to use this for a riser. Turn it on stretch. Oh, it's such a cool sound, though. Throw that in there, and now it rises up. So that's a nice, that's a nice layer. It's a nice riser layer. Okay. 
Uh, I think I'm spending too long on the buildup, but it's whatever. It's whatever. Uh, you can't just do a quick switch up for the fill, then go back to four four. I don't really want to do that. I feel like it would I feel like it would throw it off. I would like to get some uh, get some drums for a little build up though. <laughs> Certified pan snare. That's crazy. How many machine guns? Okay, that one's pretty cool. Whew. That's crazy. Um, okay, I wanted I wanted some drums, like for like build up drums. Yeah. Build up drums. I can find those. No problem. One's not bad. Maybe something a little less synthetic. There's guitar, ambience, kicks. What would be good for a build up? That one wouldn't be bad. I'll take that one. That one's good. I would have also enjoyed a snare, although I could probably just grab a snare. Ah, whatever. You know what? People are, are submitting sounds. I should use the sound submitted. Let me grab one of these snares. Oh, there's a snare. Yeah, perfect. Awesome. <clears throat> the end of the riser sounds like the old Star Trek transporter sound. I don't remember it. Back soon, about to make some burritos. Have a nice burrito. I wish I could have a burrito right now. Okay. Oh, wait, did I download... Did I download some twice? Oh, I did. Oh, I accidentally downloaded one twice. That's fine. There's a kick, and that's not what was meant to happen. There we go. Or I could just use this kick that I already have. Uh, but it's so low frequency. Oh, I still like it though. Dang it. And then get ready for some fast kicks. There's going to be so much bass in this one part. I'll have to tone down the bass of the kicks. Sounds so good. I'll bring in the low, the high pass filter because I know that I should. Morally, I am kind of obligated to. It just really does not have a strong high end.
Maybe I could just use this kick as a high layer. Maybe that's what this is. What on earth? I should really get started on this drop. Cause I have a good kick and a snare and I wanna get some I wanna get some crunch going. I wanna get my crunch on. There we go. Awesome. Sounds great. Kick is chonky. Just use some words that are too big for him. I use words that are too big for my brain and I don't understand what I say. Oh wait, I forgot about this. Like marching snare. I'm just gonna get rid of this. I don't really need it. bit of reverb That's the king. This that's the thing. This kick is not meant to sound minimal. It's meant to sound heavy. But this is the problem with this is the problem with starting your tracks from the beginning as opposed to starting them in the drop. You'll create stuff in the beginning that's super big and heavy and cool and awesome and then the drop will sound lackluster. So that's something that I just have to be prepared to deal with in this session is that that is kind of what happens. That's why you Usually start with the drop. Soft clipper, let me clip this a little harder. A little more punchy. Okay, basses and stuff like that. Or maybe I should get, here, I got a crash cymbal right here. So crazy.
That's not bad. Yeah, that's cool. I can work with that. I can work with that. This is going to turn into some, like, Egyptian, Middle Eastern, Arabic. I, I don't even know what, what scale. It's going to turn into some cool kind of weird dubstep. I'll, I'll start my bases at 20. Look at that. A, 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 a dash, just a sprinkle of healthy organization. Making all these bases sound similar is going to be is going to be tricky. It's going to be tricky. <clears throat> well, you have just made some epic Star Wars trailer music if you remove the drop. Yeah, true, I guess so. That's your Reese. Let's go. Widom. We're making some Widom. Okay, here's the thing. I in order to achieve unity, strength and unity. Amongst my bases, I think I'm going to uh, add the same effect chain to pretty much all of them. So I'm going to start off with uh, Disperser. To give it a little bit of that, of that juice you love to hear. Vocodex. Ugh. That sounds pretty good. There we are. It just gives it a little bit of a different texture, and that texture is now going to be applied to all the bases that I run through this chain, so it's going to sound like one. Take out that frequency. Nice. And sidechain, of course. And there's going to be sub and stuff like that. It's crazy. Didn't know the vocoder was so OP. Vocodex is awesome. I have like a couple, some presets saved that I know like consistently sound good. But Vocodex is really good on basses. Makes them sound alive. Something, something stompy. This... This bass is super cool, but I kind of want to run it through Harmer because I don't want everything to be audio. I also kind of want to do some MIDI stuff. You know what I'm saying? I kind of would like to share your Vocodex presets, please. Um, sure. Here's Juiced. Here's Fat Growl. Here's Solid. And here's Wet. If you really care enough, then just pause it. <laughs> I'm making it hard for you. All right, let me throw this into Harmer. Where is it? Here it is. Ah, it closes. Why does it close? Stay open. Stay open. Why does Harmer close? Why? Just stay open. Why can't I have both open? What? Why is it over here? Can I just toss it into here like that? Sort of. Oh, I forgot to do that. Just stay open. It's not hard. Just rem I didn't close you. Just remain open. That shouldn't be a... Uh... A difficult thing. Oh, look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? Isn't that just gorgeous? There's some wrench button you have to click. Yeah. Unlock armor. Oh, it is. It's not in the demo version. Maybe there's a setting that I have to change where it won't automatically close. Listen to this. What? Well, now why is nothing else playing? Why does this not play? Oh, I put Vocodex on the master. There we go. Okay. 
So that's that, and now let me go into advance, turn down denoise, and in the B section, turn that on, turn down denoise, flip on side, precision, perfect, okay, that's done. And let me take the same audio. And throw it in the B side. Now we have stereo. The vocodex on the drums did kind of sound cool, you're not wrong. But now I can scale this down to C. Oh yeah, I have to scale both sides down. Let me, actually, let me link these. A little bit of prism, nice. Use the advanced tab in Harmer. Yeah, it's just, uh, there's some de-clicking stuff in here, which is pretty cool. And then there's just settings that I change when I'm resampling, uh, when I'm re resynthesizing, I should say, resynthesizing sounds. Let's go in here to the harmonic prism and add this shape. Also copy it over to part B. A little bit of log distortion, never hurt anyone. Okay, well it hurt this one. Oh yeah, granulizer. Ah, oh, I could do granulizer or I could do harmer. Oh, I like harmer better. Harmer is preferred in my brain. Become odd, please. Make weird sounds. Okay, this isn't horrible. It's not amazing, but it isn't horrible. Oh yeah, I was getting routed through a different track. So let's just uh, throw the same effect chain right on this one and hopefully it'll sound all right. Sort of, there's like no substance to it. Like there needs to be like some bass. Like some body, that's the right word. There needs to be body to it. Oh, I could slow it down. This, this thing sounds like it's doing absolutely nothing, and it's kind of annoying me. Okay, there we go. Oh, now we're getting weird. And then I have to turn down the buffer length to something that will allow me to play it. There we go. Even with buffer length as low as it possibly can, there's still so much more, uh, there's still so much lag. Are you hearing that through my microphone? Like it's still a lot of lag. That's kind of annoying. There's a VST called Harmer. 
This is called Harmer. I think that this sound is not as usable as I thought it would be. Okay, see, that's kind of cool. Now at this point, I'm just making stupid sounds. Oh wait, there were machine gun bases too. There were machine gun bases too. I can't talk. There were tons of them. There were many, many, many. Let me see if I can find them. Because some of them were pretty cool. That's the thing, is that it's not easy to search through these samples on Discord. That's the only thing. I wish the search function was a little bit was a little bit better. Which one did I like? I think I liked that one. Although this one is probably realistically the most useful one. I'll take that one. It's all about the stupid sounds. Sounds like biting down on something. What does that sound like? Doesn't sound like anything. Let's see. So I want these two machine guns. Whew. Heavy. Heavy. They're all in D. Which is great for that style, but... I have to pitch it up by three. Hopefully it doesn't sound that bad. Nah, it still sounds good. Oh, this one's already an F. Beautiful. Let's make it sound not completely way too over the top. Bro, listen to that. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Yeah. Let's do the same thing over here. Hmm. Might be going a little too hard into it. It sounds so weird with absolutely no bass. Hmm. And I can make this unique. And maybe like add ring mod or something. That actually sounds like it has a tone. Okay, before I continue with the bases, which I'm definitely going to continue with because I need to create a solid pattern, I want to get some other drums in here first, like cymbals and uh, 
and high hats and stuff like that. I already have a couple of crashes, but I need like ride symbols too. So let's see. Let's see what's let's see what's fresh. Let's see what's fresh in the chat. <clears throat> what? You know what? I'll take the brass. Brass is good. Lost in the sand. Lost in the destroy. Destroy. I used that in the other one. Well, that's barely even a base. Oh yeah, I remember hearing that. Alright. No. Is it anything or is it it's the entire okay. Why are you sending me flak files? What's going on? Ooh, a bell. You know what? I'll take a bell. I'll take a bell. I can't believe it. It's three minutes and 30 seconds. What was this? It's not just like some dark ice cream truck. <laughs> okay, anyway, I need some symbols and stuff like that. Rick rolled you in that feedback stream. I do remember that. I do remember that. Although I've gotten better at catching it. Not with that one. That one was a good one. Whoa. I'll take that one. Oh, I like that one base in there. Let me grab that one. Oh, intro wubs. Nice. Blips and bloops. Those are blips and bloops. You know what? I can use a screech somewhere. Let me grab the screech. All right, cool. I didn't find uh, like symbols or hi-hats or anything. I mean, honestly, I didn't really expect to. That's okay, I can use my own, but I did find some bases, which will come in very useful. Oh, there's like a bunch of stuff over here. I have tons of stuff to work with. It's like a never ending flow of just content. See, I like that. That's awesome. It's pretty cool. That one's crazy. I love that one. The bell will be really useful because I can play that with MIDI. And then obviously brass is... Uh... Oh, I have a bunch of different options. Oh, they're in D minor. Um, one, two, three. It would be kind of cool to have this play, to have that whole loop just play out because it's got an interesting melody. Maybe if I... Stretch it. Does it work? It kind of does. Oh, 
Uh, and I can low pass filter this in. Okay, I'm getting a lot of ideas. I could have the basses follow the note structure. That would be really cool. That would be pretty awesome. Already, that just sounds awesome. Let me uh, throw this into 24. And let's throw our bass chain on it. Whoa. Yeah, and I think that this will definitely have to be layered with another bass because it doesn't have as much body as the other ones. But it also sounds so chromatic. Like there isn't a key. Even though I can actually hear that there is one. Halftime the brass is a great idea. Let me route the brass into 15. That is just menacing. There we go. Soft clipper. I love this build up so much that I really want to make sure this drop is good. I want to make my own bass to go under that. I can still I can still make my own basses on occasion. kind of interesting now I just have to make this something that isn't a saw wave I should probably uh, before I really make this bass I should run it through the effect chain <clears throat> I should bring back the weird vocal from the drop but an octave higher and chopped oh that would be an interesting layer yeah I think the brass is too much right at the beginning only at the B part. I'll figure it out. I think it sounds pretty good with the brass. Let's just throw this into 25, I guess. Oh, 
already is sounding much more tolerable. Oh yeah, I forgot all of the basses have that one little dip. That one little dip in the EQ for some reason. Okay. Let's add some of this. A little bit of that prism action. I always do this prism trick. I just open the prism a little bit when I'm making basses and then in the harmonic prism making this shape. Now it sounds good. Now it sounds good. Layer the basses with white noise. That's also a great idea. I'll probably do that when I do the sub, which I should do the sub in a minute too. Okay, I think this is going to turn out pretty awesome. These are so high frequency. Okay, let me go ahead and uh, let me go ahead and make a sub. I want to I want to get some sub bass in here while I'm making these basses because life just doesn't seem doesn't seem as bright and happy without it. I like citrus for my subs. Audacity. Why would I use Audacity? Actually, I do use it to record out of the mic for videos. At a separate sub, yeah. Separate sub time. Subs with citrus are super easy because you can just add harmonics on top of a sine wave. And you have a perfect sub. And the good thing about citrus is that you can use slide notes. Maybe this should be a drop. I kind of like the idea of the sub dropping. Ah, now it's sounding thick. Thank the Lord for blessing this track with thick. Oh yeah, I should probably add sub under those two. What even note is that?
That's not right. Why is this so hard to figure out? to go all the way up here. Yeah, and then to A sharp. Okay, I said I wanted hi-hats because I need to hear like a groove and stuff like that. Before I design the rest of the basses, I need to I need to feel the groove, feel the beat in my soul. It's WA Productions. I haven't watched WA Productions in so long. They still putting stuff out? Yeah, I'll use I'll use rhythm. I'll use rhythm drums, why not? They're easy. This is where I will use pattern mode though like a real FL Studio user. I honestly think that could be all that I need. Already it's sounding more solid with uh, hi-hats. Already. Let me take all these hi-hats and, oh God, it's so disorganized, Jesus. Okay, I'll throw these all these hi-hats into 16. This would be the one the one channel that I actually use this channel routing technique to. See, here's the thing. I like the channel routing technique, but I want I don't want it to like rename and recolor and stuff like that. I want it to just route them. Tad bit of verb. Just to keep some space, add some noise in the background, a little bit of EQing. There we are. A little bit of panning. White noise, yeah, I do still need some white noise. gonna be good okay now I need a ride symbol this first one is pretty good This one I actually do sort of want a sidechain. I say sort of because it's not exactly what you think of. Actually, you know what? I'll do this to the hi hats as well. Let me route the uh, let me route all the hi hats and the rides through one channel, and I'll route them both through the side chaining and not through the side chaining. So we have one signal that pumps down, uh, up and down with the side chaining, and one that doesn't.
So you still get a little bit of the impact, but you get the feeling of side chaining. That's the point. <laughs> Now all I have to do is just make this thing really stereo. Okay, okay, and I wanna make these basses fit the melody. So I need another couple sounds to go here. What if I pitched up some of these? Like I just made it unique. And then I'd have to pitch it up like, hold up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I had to pitch it up eight semitones. What if I just went down four? That'd be easier. It's already going up three if I just change it to four. And then... No, wait, if it's already going up three and I need to bring it down four, then I just need to change it to one. Yeah, like that. They all sound like such different basses. Is this not sidechained at all? No, it is. The sidechain just is not big enough. And also not this spot in the bass. Let me try something. I could uh, make it stutter. Ooh. Filter automations? Uh, filter automations would be a good idea. However, it would be really tricky seeing as the bass is already processed. It's kind of hard to do. I like doing filter automations pre-distortion and compression and all the stuff like that. I don't want to have to redo all of that. <laughs> Maybe that'll stay, maybe it won't. I'll have to I'll have to figure it out. Okay, that's a little better. And this one will have to go down one, two, three, four more? I don't think so. Maybe one, two, three, four, five. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait. I'm getting confused. It need to go down one, two, three more. But I could just take the original note and go up one, two, three, four, five. I might do that. I might just take this one and make it unique. And instead of pitching it up three, I pitch it up eight. Nah, it sounds that doesn't sound good at all. Well, it kind of does. Yeah, I need to pitch it. I can't pitch it that high. It can't go that high. So I need to pitch it down exactly an octave. So I'll change this to four, pitch it down. 
so low. I might just use a different sound. Yeah, I'll have to use a different sound for this. I'm trying to think of uh, the best way to use sound, use the basses along with like playing with melodic content. You understand what I'm saying? Like that's not something that I'm usually used to doing. I've done it before, but it's kind of tricky. Oh, I can use that bass. Oh, I did not trim that right. Here we go. And I have no idea what key this bass is in. Is it in any key at all? In, it's in some key. A weird one. Okay, now it's technically in the key of F negative. Now it's technically in the key of F, I think. Yeah, now it's in the key of F. I just pitched it up one. But I don't need it to be in the key of F right now. Right now, I actually need it to be in the key of A sharp. One. So this needs to go up five. It's too atonal. That's the problem is the sound is really cool. I like it, but it's so atonal that it's kind of hard to use in this scenario. I do kind of like that though. Maybe I could add some more effects to that. Let me try that. Let's take uh, 20. A little too heavy in there. It will match the Darth Vader. What will? Oh, the R2-D2 sound effect? I don't know about R2-D2. I don't know. It's a little much. With the processing, I don't actually think it sounds better, but I do think it fits better. And that's the thing about mixing is that in a, a lot of times when you're mixing stuff, you have to make two things sound worse individually so that together they can sound better. Okay, and needs hella... Uh, sub. I don't think it's in key, but we could add effects to make it in key. Just described marriage. I don't know about that. I am back. Hello, mysterious man. How are you doing? Let me add a resonator. That could be really cool.
Let's see. So this is hitting at an A sharp and then it goes up to a C. So maybe I can do that on the resonator. Like that. There we are. Um, can I automate? Wait a second. Wait a minute. I don't think I've ever done this. Oh, wait, I think I tried doing this once and it did kind of work. It was just really tedious. Yeah. How close was I? Oh, so close. Here's what I'll do. I'll open up this. Might as well take advantage of FL Studio's new features. Let's see. So it's just below. It's at like negative seven. Come on. I want to get it exactly on. I want to get it exactly on. Please. Give this to me, please. There it is. No. I want to get it exactly on the dot. There's no real reason for me to do that. Oh, come on. It doesn't let me. Ah, oh, that's so annoying. I guess it doesn't really matter. Ooh. Now this sounds like Widom. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, something like that. Let me hear how this sounds like with the intro. Sounds so epic. Okay, I actually like this. I don't like the glitch though. Oh yeah, that sounds a lot better. I have to make sure this is on beat though. Hi, cat. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I've locked you out of my room. Okay, so what's something I could layer with this? I forgot about this sound. Let's give this guy maybe a little bit of release. It's weird for a bass, but why not? Oh, wait. And now I just have to copy this to part B? Yeah.
Did I forget about the white noise? I did forget about the white noise. I'll add that. It's so deep. Oh, I can't do that. That's really annoying. Before I make a layer, I'll take care of the white noise. I can do this just with 3X oscillator. Old reliable. And I just need to cut the high end and the low end. So it's a little bit smoother, a little easier to listen to. And I can layer that everywhere that the sub hits. So let me uh, copy the sub, paste it here. And don't forget to sidechain. Distortion, that's a good idea. Nice. Here you kitty. Yep. He's making noise. Okay. Uh what do I How do I want to layer this? Dun, 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 dun. Let me see what other people have sent. This is what this this whole this whole stream is about. <laughs> I don't think I will find a use. I'm sorry. Whoa. Cool growl. That's a sick sound. I'll download both of those. Why not? Those sound good. Oh, that's the R2D2. Here are some here are some hats. I already got the hats set up. I still appreciate whoever donate. I still appreciate the high hats. Oh yeah, didn't I already download a screech? It's kind of cool. These are crash symbols in that. I'm not playing that again. Where's the screech that I downloaded? I keep forgetting I downloaded all these. Yeah, there it was. It doesn't work at all because it's in B. It needs to be not in B. But actually, one lower. <laughs> Whoa. And I can make this unique. Ah, that sounds so strange. It is an elephant screech. I'll have to layer it with something else. Oh, that's kind of cool. Whoa. Let's copy this to part B.
Oh, some of this needs to go through the side chain. Anyway. Actually, a lot of this isn't going through the side chaining. Wait a minute, what? You know what? Here, hold up. All right, you little demon. Get over here. Come on. This is the little, ah, there's not a lot of room in here. This is the guy who is so interested all the time in everything that I'm doing in here, but he does, just wants to participate, that's all. That's the thing about having a black cat, you can't see him on camera. You can't get proper cat time. Here, you can walk around on my desk for a sec entertain yourself not with that those are screws those are dangerous you will eat those and then die and you do not want that okay now you're not interested at all I don't get it what is it I don't get it I don't understand this animal I'll leave him in here if he starts pulling on my green screen I'll put him back he's done that a couple of times I don't know if I want to half time the screech. This thing is just kind of obnoxious sitting there, though. I don't really like that. This whole bass is a little obnoxious. Why does this particular spot sound so good? Like, I want to put that here. Let me make it unique. Hi. He's like scratching at my leg. And this one definitely needs a layer. Oh, what if I use the guitar? Da 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 okay so I need to make it unique na 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 da and I can make this unique again Something like that, maybe? It's so weirdly stretched. Ooh, maybe like that. Oh, okay, that fills it out a little bit more. And I'll just have to pick a different thing to go there because I don't like it. Yeah. 
That sounds pretty cool. Why do these things just not sound like they're side chaining? Oh, because I don't have the side. <laughs> I'm so stupid. The side chain is not following the kick in the snare. Also, what with this snare? There's like no high end. Now let's add sub there. There's some spots that are just missing sub straight up. Oh yeah, I'll go down an octave there. It's not practical, but it's whatever. There's like no call and response. That's the only thing. There's like no call and response to this. Oh, now, okay. Now you're messing with my green screen. Hold up. Time out. Let's actually uh, give this a listen. Hey, bro. Look at what he has done! Sorry, that just kept on going. That just really kept on going. I didn't plan on that. Okay, there is a thumbtack on my ground somewhere. On my ground? On my floor somewhere. And I am going to step on that. And that is not good. I'll have to fix that after stream. Oh, it took me so long to get this green screen right. Dad gum it. Ah, whatever. That's why I don't usually let my cat in on streams. Because he will mess with stuff. Okay, anyway, sorry you guys had to listen to, like, the entire sound, the entire sound. More importantly, my cat might try and eat it. I'm not worried about him stepping on it as much as I am him, him trying to eat it. Okay, this sound does not need to be a reoccurring thing. Maybe that'll just happen right there. And I'll have to put something else. But first off, I want to make some kind of ARP or something. There needs to be some melodic content back here. And I might try using this. Even though it's detuned, I don't know why it's so detuned like that. I might still try and use this sound.
It's so creepy. Bad little flute. It does kind of sound like Earthbound. You're right about that. Okay, what on earth uh, key is this? Oh God, I'm gonna have to figure this out. Oh Jesus. So it goes from uh, let's let's pull up the sub. So it goes F, C sharp, A sharp, and then C. Theoretically, that's pretty easy. Like so, like so, like so. That's not bad. I have no idea if this actually works. Hold up, let me check this. It'll work fine. It'll be it'll be okay. I'll figure it out. I don't think your cat will eat it. They're fussy as hell. That's true, they are. Although my cat is so weird in the sense that I'll give my cat, I don't know, like a little piece of like pepperoni or a little piece of like chicken or something like that. And my cat won't really want to touch it, but I'll, he'll find like a piece of a cut off zip tie and he'll think that it's delicious. I don't understand. I don't understand him, but he is very small. Well, he's not very small. He's very young. Let me put it that way. Cats can't taste sweet? Is that true? Weird. How, how, would, how do people know that? I don't know. Can I make a video explaining keys? Uh, I could, but I'm probably not the best person to do that. Uh, there are tons of music theory videos uh, on YouTube that you could look up. Gives his cat plastic. I don't, I don't give my cat plastic. He just finds it. I have, to take, I have to take it away from him. That's what I have to do. They eat sweet, they die. I don't know if that's factual. I mean, I don't really give my cat sweet things anyway. I'm gonna use auto tune on my ARP. I don't know if it goes that high. Yeah, it can't grab the high notes, but I'm still okay with that. That's fine. I also just have no idea in general if this is going to sound good. Auto tune on the master. That'll be great. I actually have no idea how that would sound. That's
That's actually, you know what? I'm actually totally cool with that. Maybe if I add some more panning, I think that's pretty cool. How do I always get so crisp mixes? I don't know. I've just been doing it, doing it for a while. It comes, it comes naturally. This kind of sounds like I uploaded this track to SoundCloud. Uh, I think it was yesterday because I just dumped all the tracks that I've been working on into into a really not unprofessional what's the word informal album i just dumped it out on soundcloud and it sounds so similar to this because this is also dubstep that like melodically follows a progression You see how it like follows a melody. It's like singing. It's not just staying on one note. I'm kind of doing the same thing here. I just need to fill in some of these gaps. Like this spot here is just not have enough. It doesn't have enough. So let's look back at, there's a fly in here. Let's look back at uh, other sounds. Whoa. You know what, whatever, we can use one of those. Why not? And this actually needs to be pitched down. No way it needs to be pitched down that low. But where? Where is it? Oh, it's right there. Okay. So it needs... I need to pitch it into A sharp. Okay. It's in F which makes it a little tricky. I could go up five. And that might be too high. I don't know though. I'll figure it out. I'll see what sounds good. This is the thing about working with samples is it gets a little tricky. Eight bit rhythm bass, please. I don't know if that would fit. Heroic dubstep, sort of. Drum fill at the end of the drop using that clang noise. It's actually a good idea. I might use the clang just as a fill. Basses would form melody when it just wanted rhythm. Yeah, it's, you get you get lost in it, especially when you do your intros first. This this was a thing. Before I made like, like gnarly heavy bass stuff, all of my stuff turned out melodic, primarily because I always started with the intro. And with the intro, I always went really melodic. And when I got to the drop, I didn't have the heart to make it some gnarly atonal thing. I wanted to keep it melodic. So I, I just, all of my tracks ended up being melodic. And until I started doing the drop first, I never made any track that wasn't melodic. <laughs> Let's change this up. That one's special. I like that. This one could change though. Or maybe I could even lower this down an octave. Um, let's see, five, seven. Yeah. Yeah.
now that this one has the screech layer, I can make this layer deeper. Wait, why do these still have bass? These aren't even routed into a track. Interesting. Uh, let's throw these into 27. That's the thing with FL Studio. I love it, but it forces you to do all this manually. 27. Okay. Let's add our effect chain. And it also cuts the sub. Beauty. That's awesome. I uh, could use a little bit of soft clipper, though. Fill it out a little. And sidechain. Whoa, whoa. That's so high frequency. Man, it just, it just hits hard. Okay, let's see what we're let's see what we're missing here. Seems like everything is accounted for. Except something isn't side chaining. Oh, because because I forgot to copy the side chain. That is why it is my own fault. But I have another idea. This is gonna be wacky. It's gonna be weird. But I think it's gonna be cool. <laughs> Where's the sub? Let me record this out. I'm going to go ahead and record this out. I'm not going to use it for the intro, though. I mean, I'll probably end up using this for the intro, too, but this isn't my plan. Now that I have that, I'm just going to dump this whole thing in Harmer. I'm going to throw the whole thing in Harmer and see if this works. I have no idea if this is going to work. It's going to be fun, though. Let's turn denoise down on B. Select side. Link them. And I, my goal is if this sounds cool to replace all of the bases in the drop with this. But I don't know if it's going to sound that good. I honestly do not know. All we have to do is just lay down this. So right now, while I'm working on this, I will mute these bases. Okay, that gets muted.
make this twice as long. Uh, oh, I actually have to separate out this sub. Okay, so this. I actually want to separate that out. So let me make this unique. I'll mute these. And I'll just leave the sub and I'll, and whatever, I'll leave the noise. Why not? Oh, there's already so much noise though. I think I'll remove the noise from this one too. Cut that noise. They gotta be sidechained? They will. They will, they will, they will. I think when I start adding stuff to this, start messing around with it in Harmer, I think this is gonna sound so sick. Okay. Step one, prism. And I'll do the same harmonic prism stuff that I did before. Copy this over to part A, I guess. A little bit of distortion. It's a little messy, but I'm actually okay with that. Whoa. This is so insane. What if I were to mess around with the scale? All in C. Okay, that actually sounds really sick. I don't know if this will work. Okay, something's not working quite right. Oh, there's something in here. What did I forget to... Oh, that's weird. Okay, here's what's going to happen. That'll come in on the second part. I think that's what's gonna work out best for us right now, is if I do that. So this goes here, and then this stuff goes here. See how that works. I think that's actually a really cool switch up. Remove the ARP on the first half, but it's so, it kind of needs to be there.
I feel like it kind of has to be there. Or maybe it doesn't. I don't know. Let me try these vocals real quick. Let me see how they layer in the drop. That actually sounds so cool. I like that. I just need to add loads of reverb. Just lo I want to drown it in reverb so it's just like ambience. Um, let me see. What is this going into? 12. All right. Let me just take a reverb. Yeah, I like that a lot. So let me just create that automation clip and that'll be good. I really like this style of dubstep, actually. This, like, the style of it going along with the melody. I think it's actually really nice. Like, it's it's really refreshing compared to a lot of other styles of dubstep that are all just sort of hitting on the same note all the time. You know what I'm saying? The vocal would also be great in the breakdown if you plan on making one. Yeah, I don't know if I plan on making one today. Uh, I might add a little outro, in which case the vocal will definitely be there because I think the vocal is one of the coolest sounds in this track so far outside of the basses. The percussion with the vocal. Oh. I might end it just like that. It's a weird way to end it, but I might just do it like that, honestly. I can make this unique. I can bring this up here. This sound turned out so weird. That I have no idea what to think about it. It's meant to be a bass layer and now it's like some weird hydraulic, I have no idea.
Nice. I think the guitar has some triplets. I don't know about triplets. That's the thing. Uh, tape stop at the end of the vocals. Did I already read that? Because it's actually kind of a good idea. Let me use glitch. Okay, I'll save that. Cool. And then I'll just have to create an automation clip for the reverb at the end so it doesn't come back and, and haunt it. Okay, these drums are so loud, dude. Fine before the glitch effect. What? <laughs> now you're like, nah, 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 nah. Guitar in a different time signature. The guitar should be on B. The guitar sounds great. I've saved the project. I'm hitting control S. Like you can't see me doing it, but I'm saving the project. Hey, what's up? Oh, that, I thought someone was knocking. That was legitimately my cat. My cat has problems. Okay. Let me let me check these uh, let me check the balance of this stuff. Uh, my light. There we go. Let's check this balance. I'm actually kind of okay with this scoop. I don't have a problem with this scoop, but there is a lot of high end that could probably get uh, controlled a little more. And the sub is too loud. Let me add some distortion to the sub though. Soft clipper. There we are. Isolate these low frequencies. Let's make a mono. See, like, there's the sub, and then the kick peaks just above the sub. So I'm actually pretty cool with that. Some people scoff at EQ on the master, but I don't really, I don't really care, to be honest. All right, let's see how loud this is. Let's bring up a loudness meter. There we go. It's pretty loud. If 
for just a rough on stream mix that actually doesn't sound that bad sounds pretty good sounds pretty good but i think i'm gonna call it here are we allowed to join your discord of course there's a link in the top of the description and you can join the discord to get in on stuff like this there's a lot of a lot of sounds maybe i'll throw one more sound in here just for just for kicks that one's actually pretty cool that's cool Oh yeah, a little bit, a little ARP. Oh, here are the 8-bit rhythm. I'll try to use, I'll try to use one of those, why not? I kind of like that one. I don't know about that one. Let me see. My downloads, okay. Let's see if I can fit this in somewhere. It sounds like it's got good harmonics. Let's give it the effect chain. Oh. Ah. There we go. Nice. And <laughs> just in little spots. I actually kind of dig it. They're meant to be cut good because I cut them. That's another thing, because I did it in Harmer, wherever I start playing it is where the loop is going to, is going to, is going to come from. I didn't make any sense at all. Wherever I start playing the loop is where the actual bass line is going to start. I can't cut in the middle. I'll make this one unique. So it's a little bit stereo. Does that make it sound weird? A little bit, but I don't really care. Nice. Okay, I think that's actually it. I think I'm going to call it for this stream. This is pretty cool i actually have a lot now that i'm really looking at it i have an intro i have a build-up i have a drop and then there's like a little outro at the end like what more could you ask for Ugh, what more almost three hour stream that's true it's about time to it's about time to call it so i'll go ahead and play the whole thing uh from the beginning it's nice and loud it's nice and loud so here we go False alarm, false alarm.
Uh, this tape stop I need to put in the intro to make sure that the vocal doesn't act all weird. Oh no, that's the reverb mix level. Where's the tape stop? Excuse me? Oh, I have to, I forgot to create the automation clip for it. So let me just, uh, take care of this real quick and then we'll listen to the whole thing, I promise. Yeah, that's fine. I'm good with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. And then all I have to do is just put this. Come on. Come on. In the intro. And now the vocal won't do it. All right. Now let's actually listen to the whole thing. Cool. It's a very sudden end. <laughs> that That's for sure. I don't usually end my tracks that sudden, but this is actually pretty cool. I will say the drop is louder than it should be, or maybe the intro should be brought up uh, just for balance's sake. And I should, should have probably hinted at some of these bases earlier on in the song as well, so they didn't come out of nowhere. But holy crap, is this cool. <laughs> I love taking entire bass lines and throwing them into Harmer and just playing with them. And it just turns into something. I just put it in a box in another universe. I love it. I love that so much. That's really, really fun. I want to do more of that. I definitely want to do more of that. All right. You stayed for the whole stream. Yeah, Pizza Music, you've been here since, since the beginning. Since the beginning. All right. Thank you guys so much for coming out and hanging out with me on stream. This is super fun. Thank you for submitting samples. You really helped me make something cool here. I think this is cool because this is probably the most interactive way to do a live stream. Like most of the time, it's either it's like me making a song and you guys can you know, give suggestions if you want. But for the most part, it's just me making a song. And there's the feedback, of course, which is very interactive. But this is like I actually get to create stuff with you guys almost even though the final decision of what goes on in the track is up to me i am using you guys as sounds and that's really fun uh no one cares but i'm so sweaty you have to buy a fan go bu go buy yourself a fan fast download all the samples yeah and everyone else can just rip the samples from the discord too that's another reason to join all right i'll see you guys next week with another stream have a good one peace